Welcome into Sunday Sermons. The last time, let me tell you what happened last time. So usually I pick out a thing, you know, from the, you know, we got our, we, we got our sacred pouch. And of course, if we have a sacred pouch, there's got to be something sacred in the sacred pouch. Ta-da! And it's the, uh, the code book, the uh, United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of white supremacy by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. That's his book here. Yeah. United Independent Code System in a concept. textbook and it's by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Now, here's the thing. Last time, you know, usually I look through the thing, and the last time I had this brilliant idea. Okay, I just had an idea. Yeah. Okay, it's a brilliant idea. Well, no, 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 no. Then I have I have Mr. Chloe pick out the topic, you know. So, and I think that worked good. Yeah. Now you may say, well, you need to work that well. Well, think about it. We're here in South Africa. Um, it's a it's a book written by a, a black American, if you will. Or let me put it this way: a, a black African who is in America. <laughs> Let's put it that. Way. An African American of African descent speaks speaks American speaks English, right? So but we're reading in in the South African context, and in, in, in this is a Eastern Cape, which is a closer stronghold. Yeah, it's Eastern Cape is from the Eastern Cape. So it's only right that the closer guy <laughs> picks the topic. Why would the why would the the, the you know the, the English speaking you know African who's from America pick the topic when we're the closest? You understand? Right? Yeah, I understand. Okay. So, in the we to the we are going to to the we are the Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has nine areas that we call what he calls nine areas of human activity. Oh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. One area is in nine. Which this book addresses, plus there's a little word guide at the end of the book. I might add, this is the 1984 edition, the original edition came out in 1984. Now, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is on the internet every... Every Tuesday, um, in fact, we're recording this on a, on a Tuesday, even though you know we're going to air it on the Sunday. We do it on Sundays, uh, and he, he he they they out of the nine areas, the nine areas are uh, economics. Where's areas the nine? This is money. Education. Is in Rondo. Entertainment. Is in Mabo. Labor. Is in Omisebenzi. Law. Is in Michezo. Politics, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. calls people relations. Religion. Is in Golo. Sex. Is in Sini. And war counterwar. Is in Razwen. Is in Now, when Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is on the air, he doesn't talk about the war counterwar war part for obvious reasons. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Now we here in the Eastern Cape, we will talk about that. <laughs> That's a clearly it comes from a warrior culture, so. But we don't talk about sex, so we're still even Stephen. So, sir, you could. 
pick out what area you want to talk about today. See, now I just spoke on him today. See, uh, 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 you know, because he didn't know that. I mean, use that. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, the point is, like, uh, next next time we'll be more prepared because I'll have to pick it out ahead of time because I like it better this way. Because you know, okay, I'm an old man, but people don't. First of all, people don't listen to old people. I'm just telling you this. This, I, yeah, in in South Africa they have or Africa they have reverence for old people. You know, most most cultures do. You know, but eh, you know, guy, what does he know? They got their own ideas. They want to over you know, the whole thing as well. They should because sometimes these old people. They haven't, they haven't done what they should, you know, to uh, to do what they should. Anyway, what's taking you so long? These young people, they take so long. They want things in an instant, but, you know, you ask them to do one tiny thing. And look, look how long this boy taking this to, to, to find one tiny time. Just, the, the, just point to a page. Man. Pick out, you want to pick out, just pick out a number and just go to that page. I don't know. Oh. One, two, nine. Oh, he got, he got a thing of it. Okay. I just riffed. You don't have to say what I riffed on. Okay. That's right. Okay, here we go. Oh, just in case you don't know, I read, he translates it. Is it closer? And, you know, that way. Oh, it's just one short section right here, right? Yeah, this Okay. Talk to people who are younger than yourself. <laughs> or older than yourself. The same way that you talk to people of any age. Particularly people who are victims of racism. Speak the truth. But be certain to speak it in a manner that the person listening will understand what is being said. Now this is important. This part, yeah. Always say everything in a manner that will best promote justice and correctness. That he has reasons and explanations, right? Yeah, is this a twin explanation? All victims of racism, non white people, Bongi Amakoba, Obanjululu, Abandu Aba, Beba Miam, of all ages, Uzo Zongi Age are children as long as they are subject to domination by white supremacist races. Now, just to be clear, because like I say, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. comes on every week and I listen to him, uh, as we say, religiously. Anyway, he insists there's three categories of race. There's non-white people. There's white people. And there's white supremacists. Just to understand, you see, when you say not white, I mean, everybody that's not white, that's that. That means no, 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 no matter what it is, whatever the deal is. And white white people, they just white people, but they benefit from what the white supremacists do. So they sort of like a buffer class. As a city, city, benefit the system. Therefore, all victims of racism, like all other people, regardless of age, are entitled to have the truth revealed to them. Age. 
ukanye ungakanani na as long inyani zabe itetwa kuwe uli toba no bandulula and are entitled to have the opportunity to use the truth in such a manner as to promote justice and correctness. So that's it. I mean, but I guess we need to, um, and he does here, now no, no, i got to find the uh, definition. Um, he has a definition of justice. Ooh, come on, Flop. Um, now, just, well, I, I know what it is. Let me just try to riff it off the top of my head. Yeah. Justice is the guarantee that no one is mistreated. And, 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 and those who need the help most gets the most, uh, I say, constructive help. That's it. Uh, let me give you another. Uh, he didn't say this, but let me mm. slide this in here. Could, okay. I could be right, I could be wrong. Mm. For all you Christians out there, For me, it's like the golden rule do unto others as you have them do unto you. If you don't want to be murdered, don't murder somebody else. If you want to be uh, treated badly, don't treat somebody else badly. But if that, that's the end of the Christian thing. But then if you see that, then you have an obligation to give some help, the most constructive help available at the particular time. So that's it. Join us for some other Sunday for uh, our Sunday sermon, Mr. Daily Fuller Jr. Uh, that's his. Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. is the is the is our source. Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. source me to about so that when I visit it. And Mr. Tolle is our interpreter. Nandi kumkukuli. Well, a language interpreter. Kumkukuli the way we. And I being me T from the Patterson Technical Training Center. No, T is your message. Is your humble servant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.